like if, in rural Texas, for example, not everybody's going to build out there, and T-Mobile's not going to build. There. It is really expensive to do that. Um, but you probably have at least two carriers. You, you, if not three, you, you likely have a local, regional carrier, in addition to a national Verizon, probably AT&T too. AT&T and Verizon are competing for coverage, right? They both want to say we're covering 97% of the country mm -hmm. uh, with high-speed internet over, over wireless. So, and they're both trying to get there. They both will get there. Uh, and the local carrier may be too. What we need to do is make sure that those, kind of what we were talking about at the very end of this panel, that those carriers are actually competing with each other. So that they're forced to compete on the quality of their service so that AT&T can't do, for example, something like it's been doing, saying, we have 4G broadband. You should buy our plans because this is 4G. When it's not 4G. It's actually an, an older technology that they have in place as kind of a placeholder before they get true 4G. Those are lots of words. You, know, you, you see these like Saturday Night Live parodies of 4G LTE because it's hard to, most Americans don't know what that means, nor should they. But what that means is wireless broadband. And uh, if they actually need to compete with each other for customers based on the quality of that service, based on their speeds and the, 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 the reliability, um, then you'll, you'll see them like, oh, I, I guess I need to build this out faster to more people, including people in rural areas. Because if I don't, my competitor is going to take that business away from me. But the way that it's all set up is that they've kind of divided it up. I, I always compare this to, to like, the five families in The Godfather. You know, they've all said, here's your territory, here's your territory.